Hey guys, Old School Brian here, and today is part two of, well, basically my last video. Um, like I said in the last video, it's been a while since I made a video. Um, picked up hundreds of games. I picked up hundreds of games before I made my last video, and I haven't showed them all. Um, I made videos, never uploaded them, kind of just lost track and whatever. But uh, yeah, so I have this huge tub right here, which is just part of what I have to show you. I actually probably have a couple of these tubs full of games. Um, what I do is when I get games now, put them in here, kind of clean them as, as I'm going, clean them, pick out copies that are actually going to be in my collection, like that I'm really going to keep and take care of, and then other stuff that I could trade off or, or whatever. And um, so yeah, but I clean them all first before I put them on the shelves now because I got to the point where I was buying a lot of games and I was putting them right on the shelf. I would wait, take something off to go play it, and it would be dirty, so I figured I don't put anything on the shelf no more until it's clean. So, let's hop right into it. Um, this is some old school stuff, um, so if that's not your thing, then, you know, it's all old school too, it's not going to be anything mixed in. But... Alright, we're going to try to run through it because I probably have 150 games right here and I don't think I'm going to be able to show them all. Uh, Buzz Bombers for the Intellivision. I'll just read a couple of these labels off. Another copy of Buzz Bombers, Hover Force, Frogger, Royal Dealer, Star Strike, and Demon Attack. All for the Intellivision. For the Atari 7800, we got Choplifter, Sevius. I can't run. I never pronounce this game, but Kartika, Robotron 2084, and one-on-one. -on -one. Another copy of Choplifter, Night Driver, oh, man, so much stuff here, Pole Position 2, Whoa. Circus Atari, Journey Escape, uh, combat text label outlaw two copies of everybody one of everybody's favorite games Pac-Man Stampede uh, Tron Mazatron for the Intellivision Donkey Kong for the ColecoVision. I've really gotten into playing the ColecoVision games. Um, I got quite a few of them, but mostly common ones. Um, anybody has any out there and wants to trade them or whatever, sell them, whatever, I'd be definitely interested in them. Dragon Fire. Somebody decided to write their name on it. Moon Sweeper. Kaboom. Another copy of one on one. Uh, centipede. Another copy of Robotron 2084, but this one doesn't have a hole in the front. Uh, copy of Carnival for the Intelligent. It's a second copy because I already showed one in my last video. And Kritika, but this one's kind of messed up in the corner, but it does still work. Uh, for the Intellivision, Mousetrap. Another copy of Moon Sweeper. Home Run. Right. 
Another copy of Combat, text label. MASH. I have like three, three or four copies. This one's got tape on it. And when you pull the tape up, it takes the label off. I don't know why somebody would put... I got like 20 games like that from one guy. Every one of them has a piece of electric tape on it for no fucking reason. And it tears off the label underneath all of them. Bowling. Yars Revenge. I think Yars Revenge. This is a fact or an interesting fact if it's true. Somebody that knows Atari might know better than me. But I think Yars Revenge is the first game that had a um, game designer's name or initials in it. That might be true, it might not. You tell me, you Atari guys. Uh, Towering Inferno, Star Raiders, Surround, text copy, Space War, Space Invaders, another copy of Space Invaders with writing on it. Uh, text copy of Night Driver and Combat. I bought this like big lot of these games. This is like two of them all packed together. And there's a lot of like doubles. Like for instance, I got three copies of Chopper Command. So if anybody's looking for a chopper command, I got plenty of them, and I have more. Super Breakout. Uh, Millipede. Another copy of Combat. I can build a freaking house out of text label combats for the Atari. Robo, robot tank. Skiing. Porkies and Pele Soccer. Let's see. Another text label, Combat. Let me see if I have any more so I just get them all out of the way. No, figures after I said it, I don't have any more. Uh, Missile Command. Basketball. Another copy of Pac-Man. I showed two of them. I think it might have been in the last video though. Uh, tax scan. And Night Driver. The worst video game in the history of history. Also with the best, most unique story. E.T. for Atari 2600. Complete bomb. Slot Racer, Crystal Castles, here's another one with the wonderful tape on it, and just destroy the game, I, I have no clue why somebody would do that. Football for the Intellivision, another copy of Yars Revenge, Space War, Sword Quest, Earth World, uh, Tennis, Another copy of Tax Scan. Uh, Telegames, a bunch of them. Defender. Video Olympics. Maze Craze. Video Olympics. Other Telegames. We're almost done. A couple more. Defender, two copies of Asteroids, another copy of Combat, I guess I missed it, and Surround. Oh, from the last video, I showed a bunch of Commodore games. Here's the one of the ones I was missing. Crazy Antics. Video Pinball, Missile Command, another one with the tape. Uh, Lannis, Television. Ice Hockey, Sky Jinks. Real Sports Baseball, Venture. 
Slot Racers and Riddle of the Sphinx. Um, so, yeah, that's it. I got through the box. That's everything that I have right here, right now to show you for this video. Um, like I said in the last video, I'm going to start making videos more consistently. Uh, YouTube's something that I really enjoyed over the years. Um, I have 5,000 subscribers, pretty much, and I know you guys want to see videos. Um, I do appreciate everybody hanging in with me over this time where I haven't been making them, but I do promise that they will be more consistent. Um, I just got to put them more in my routine of when I get games in, I bring them down, I clean them, and I shelve them. In between the cleaning and the shelving, I got to start making a video of them. Um, but yeah, I have a couple more containers, so definitely more videos coming. I have several hundred games to show you um, in the near future. So thumbs up, subscribe. As always, guys, share the video. Do whatever you got to do to get the name out there. It helps me. Um, I really like having an audience to show my stuff to. Um, sometime this year, I will get another room tour out there. As soon as I get this this hellhole together, I mean, just there's, there's shit everywhere here. You don't see stuff over here, like systems box from floor to ceiling that I have, most of them I haven't even shown you guys. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.